18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Live out the 18 is clear, and here as we get into August, we are in the midst of the dog days of late summer. Very stagnant, hazy weather pattern, typically with a good deal of heat in our area. And again, those dog days are going to stick around for the weekend with temperatures up around 90 degrees. And Mike loves Jaeger, the live Doppler 18 uh, bulldog, I guess, right? Yes. Okay. And he always drools on me. I got to get out of the way here. Go, go, go get that. <laughs> He doesn't move any either. He just sits there. So at any rate, we've got Friday Night Frenzy tonight. I know Mike, Matt, and Tiffany have been working hard on the show for tonight. they got a lot of great highlights for you and a preview coming up. But at 7 p.m., 85 degrees, mostly clear. 9 p.m., 76, so nice football weather. And again, it's good to be uh, headed into football season now as hopefully cooler temperatures start to arrive for the fall. But the warm front's gone through. Temperatures will be in the 90s over the weekend, but the humidity will not arrive. The real robust, muggy humidity will not arrive until tomorrow evening. So a dry heat this evening and a dry heat for tomorrow as well. So temperatures right around 90 today. So the muggy air staying to the south and the southwest. But the muggy air will slowly start to close in on us tomorrow. Still a dry heat, 90 to 95, but that muggy air overspreads our area Saturday night and into Sunday. So Sunday's high temperature really warming up, 92, heat index around 100. Even 90 on Monday will be in the mid-80s Tuesday into Wednesday with numerous showers and thunderstorms developing. Again, these could move in by Monday afternoon, lasting into at least early Thursday before the front starts to pull away. And some of the new model data is indicating some of you may get a good soaking rain out of this. Let's hope that the rainfall is widespread and we get a good one to three inches of rain out of this. But bottom line is, once the front goes through, it is going to get a lot cooler. Several days, only around 81 degrees with overnight lows in the 50s later next week. The big blue H, that high, a key factor with the next round of tropical weather. Again, as it settles into the Appalachians, the brand new analysis is still bringing a potential hurricane. It will most likely be Bill into the Gulf Coast around August 25th and still indicating at least the potential of another hurricane or two towards Labor Day. So let's keep an eye on that. Again, it looks like we may very well have a landfalling U.S. hurricane here by August 25th. So mostly clear, some patchy shallow fog tonight. Lows around 63. Tomorrow, hot, but not necessarily too humid. 92 for the high temperature. Winds calm, then turning to the south around 5 miles per hour. And then over the uh, rest of the weekend, 92 on Sunday. A lot of humidity before the showers and thunderstorms arrive Monday through early Thursday. Best chances appear to be uh, honing in around Tuesday and Wednesday with uh, those highs cooling off into the mid 80s and much cooler next week. We get several days below normal by Thursday and Friday. And I can't figure out why Jaeger, the dog